So sometimes with today's larger taps, there can be some movement on the sink itself, some flex on the steel of the sink. So this is where we need to fit a tap brace to help alleviate that. So we've got the sink upside down and we're going to fit a Frank tap brace. Um, this is a product, this is how it comes. Uh, inside the product, we've got the instructions, the brace itself, two fixed screws, and an Allen key supplied. So the first thing is to take the red collar out, and if these screws are tight, loosen these adjustable screws. The small flange on the back aligns with the cutout in the worktop. If you take off the adhesive backing pad, slide the tails through the tap brace and align the tap brace centrally with the tap, pushing the collar back onto the worktop to stick it down. So that's stuck down now and the tail is loose. Next thing is put the red collar through the tails slide that in. That then locks it to its front to back dimension. And tighten up the adjustable screws. Pop those down. And the last thing to do is tighten up the collar. Keep tightening the collar until you feel resistance. But don't over tighten. And the final move is to fit the two extra screws as a safeguard for the adhesive. And that's the tap brace fitted. So that's the tap brace fitted to a tap with flexible tails. Um, the same brace is also suitable for a tap with copper tails. The brace also works with taps with a central threaded collar. Just take out the red insert and the brace fits straight over the collar. Same principle. So that's the brace fitted. Put the tap down. You can see that's stiffened it up quite a bit. 